In this video, we're taking a look at the new best MCW class after update. We have a new attachment that was just added within Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 Reloaded, which is going to help out that recoil control drastically. I was able to drop two nukes. I know for a fact you guys can tear it up as well. So if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications, and let's get into it. Let's take a look at the new absolute best and fastest killing MCW class after the recent update. This weapon did receive a nerf, making the recoil a little bit more challenging to control at longer ranges, but of a class type that's going to help that out. Now for the muzzle, we are going to be rocking the brand new Jack BFB muzzle. This is phenomenal, drastically improving our gun kick control vertical recoil control as well as horizontal recoil control now the only negative about this attachment is your radar signature is going to be on the map for 30 percent longer but this is a very big but if you are getting into gunfights and moving it's not going to be that big of a deal and also coupling with a couple of other attachments and perks are going to be running with this build now for the underbarrel, we are going to be rocking the x10 phantom 5 hand stop to smooth out the recoil pattern on this weapon, allowing us to have increased sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, which is huge at those close ranges, and then obviously going ahead and taking advantage of that vertical as well as gun kick with this attachment. We are going to be rocking a barrel on this setup. We're going to be rocking the 16.5 inch MCW Cyclone Long Barrel. The MCW is going to be a long range setup from here on out unless they go ahead and adjust that recoil pattern again, which honestly I don't think they're going to do. We're taking advantage of increased bullet velocity and range, aim out of sway, and firing aiming stability. We're going to need that because of the nerf this weapon did have as you guys can see here we're going to get a nice bump to the medium to long range capabilities with this weapon now we are going to rock an optic on this setup and we're still going to be rocking the marked reflector it's going to be a great attachment on this gun allowing us to have a very easy optic to use at any and all ranges this is even more important now because recoil control is something that we have to think about when realistically before the nerf we didn't have to think about all that and then finally we are going to go ahead and rock a rear grip here and we're going to run the rb claw psl grip just to go ahead and help out additional recoil control gun kick control and more firing aiming stability as you guys can see here we're going to be helping this weapon out at longer ranges making it a lot easier to use we are no longer rocking a stock once you jump in the firing range you're going to see here that this gun is literally going to have a respectable ads even though we have nothing but recoil controlling attachments and it's going to be a laser beam even after all of the nerfs which is going to be a massive w now the secondary is going to be very important because we are going to be rocking the core 45 now with the core 45 i do recommend putting on the conversion kit which is going to transform this into pretty much a submachine gun it's going to be super important at closer ranges if you guys are in close ranges it's going to be important to run the core 45 now when rocking this setup because this gun is going to be suppressed so you're going to be off the radar allowing you to go ahead and get some more kills because with the mcw we're going to be on the ping a little bit longer we're also going to go ahead and rock that so skeletal vertical grip and we are going to be utilizing that 40 round drum because the fire rate has been significantly increased and we're going to finish off the setup with the xrk dynamic precision stock to bump up some more recoil control now we are going to rock munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone doesn't headset to hit footsteps and gunfire a lot easier and goes to keep us off the radar this is very important because obviously we're running an unsuppressed weapon with that jack muzzle and then make sure you guys have on the comms vest a very important vest here it's going to give us a 24 7 uav every time you kill somebody you're going to be notified if somebody is in your general vicinity by running over the body which in 6v6 or honestly any mode because the spawns are so bad somebody is always in your general area this is going to be a great mcw setup after the nerf after checking it out let me know down in the comment section if you guys enjoy it and as always make sure you drop a like on the vid subscribe to the channel and those post notifications i got two nukes let's get into it all right let's get busy with the mcw after the update they did nerf this weapon but we have some new attachments that are going to be allowing us to control the recoil a hell of a lot easier i'm honestly upset that they did nerf the mcw i saw it coming but it's actually to the point where you are gonna have to run a lot more recoil controlling attachments than normal where are these guys even at dude i don't even know why i'm playing on a state this map's too big i'll see back over here 
Good shit, teammate. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. My teammate is going off with that sniper rifle. Jesus. Dude, I literally don't even have a kill yet. Friendly UAV on station. Rotate over here. Bro, I literally don't even have a kill yet. Dude, my teammate is... I don't have a kill yet. Let's go, baby. I have a net different muzzle, so I'm gonna have to make sure that I fire and move immediately. Hey, buddy, put up in advance. I think they're gonna back out, though. They did. They left. Buddy, put up in advance and an EMP. Oh my god. That's when I get a nuke. I can call it right now. Wait, is he underneath me? Okay, that was weird. May like spawn more people in here, please? Like, cause I really don't know where they're gonna be coming from. Got a Vita jet. Drop the ammo box. I don't think these guys are over here. But at least my teammates are smart enough to not stay on the hill 24-7. But the thing about this setup... Wait. On the 15s, pop the advanced. Copy, advanced UAV is entering the AO. Are you okay? Thank you, teammates. I have no idea how those guys did not die. The shit. He's up top. I gotta keep it moving. I'm gonna drop this EMP. Buddy, he... Teammate, somebody else deal with that because confirming next hard point. Stand by. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. The shit. Can somebody else get a UAV? Because I don't know where these fellas are gonna come from. Yes! Mission time is half over. Maintain the lead. Only got 22. Like I was on so much longer. I got a 
the sniper. Oh my god. Hard point relocating. Stand by. Rotate over here. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. At the brutal. Teammate got another advanced. I'm literally just chasing dude. It's like I'm chasing Dorito chips like this is literally what's going on right now Just chasing Dorito chips Oh, we got it but I say bro that one sniper that went down and proned imagine if he just got a snipe off and I died one off I would have literally lost. I would have lost full. Oh my God! His 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 mom is getting pissed. I hope this guy got his nuke, man. I really do, cause this was a long lobby. Rotate this way. Hard point relocated. Secure the one minute remaining. In a minute, I'm not gonna call it in at all until the last possible second, just in case some fella is trying to get a nuke. I do not want to end the game too short. If somebody's a couple off. There's a fella that literally. Oh, oh somebody called it in. Yep. Somebody else got a nuke. Bet sick. MGB already inbound. That's something you definitely don't see. <laughs> I got sniped, but hey, I'll take it, man. I wonder who got it. Was it that Davey guy? It had to be that Davey guy. All right, let's get busy with the new best MCW setup. After the update, man, they did nerf the recoil control on this gun, which honestly is kind of unfortunate, but at least they brought in a new attachment that removes a lot of the recoil that they went ahead and I guess not really at what what was he at oh almost caught a grenade that wasn't even for me get back up here Glad I kind of changed my area because Yeah, they're spawning over there now. Oh, I saw that right. He literally just left Take this way. Call this in. They moved the hill location, which I'm honestly not a fan of. Enemy 
Oh, we got the advanced. Holy shit. Bro, they don't know what the hell. Let's not mess with that. He's literally in the corner. Target area up. Move Let's move out. Rotate over here. So the new hill. Okay, the new hill is over here now. I'm gonna EMP it. On a 28. Come on, bro. Twenty nine. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. All right, we got it. They buffed the SVA too. Kind of. Let me guess. He died and spawned behind me. Pretty sure that's what just happened right there. All good. Target area updated. Move to What's it over here? Somebody got a UAV on their team. Not a big deal. Honestly, not. Honestly, not opposed to the new hill changes here. Not terrible. We got time. We do have time for another one, though. That's the crazy part. Especially if I pick up a sniper rifle. Got a VTOL. EMP, there's a guy that's behind me. I got pop. I got you safe. Enemy inside the perimeter. Let's head over here. You guys a stem shot?
updated. Move to the hard point. Oh, well, which way are they gonna come from? This way? Yeah, they are. It's all the teammates, man. I'm gonna just EMP the lobby at this point. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna call the new gun. That, like that's wow dude. I really hate that damn drone. The mosquito drone has to be one of the most annoying things they've ever added in Call of Duty history, man. Oh my god, look at that feed. If only I didn't die, literally. If only I didn't die, I already have eight kills. I'd be a 21 right now if I didn't die. I'm literally getting chased down. says that 6 6 is too slow I better call this MGB nuke and we're gonna lose if I don't Sixteen, I would have a nuke. I literally would have a nuke right now, a double. If I did not die. Yep. I would have had a double. 86 kills though, not bad.